Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you the best AI presentation tool, Plus AI. There are a few different tools out there that allow you to create presentations and slides using AI, but most of them either require you to install or use a separate app, or they're more geared towards animations and flashy pictures. If you're making a presentation for work or school, you probably want it to look a bit more professional, and that's why we're focused on Plus AI in this video. The other great thing about Plus is that you can use it directly inside of Google Slides, so you don't have to learn how to use a new presentation tool, and it's easy to get started quickly. Okay, let's get started with a walkthrough of Plus AI. The easiest way to get started with Plus AI is to just open up a new slide deck, and instead of starting from a blank slide and blank presentation, it gives you a starting point by allowing you to generate a presentation from scratch. So all I do is I open up Plus from the extensions menu, it opens up this menu, and I can type in whatever I'd like Plus to generate. In this example, let's do something like build a slide deck to teach new investors about Warren Buffett's investment philosophies. Philosophy, include a case study on one of his best investments. That's all I need to enter. If I wanted to enter more, I could just paste it down here, but I'll just start with this and click the generate button. Essentially what Plus does is instead of saying, here's the finished content for you, what we'll do is first generate an outline. We will review the outline. And then only after we say, here's the right slides to make, will Plus go and actually generate the full presentation for you. So in this step, we'll wait a few seconds and get the presentation I uh, get the outline of the presentation that we want. Okay, so here you can see, here's the description of the slide deck that we typed in already. And then here's Plus AI's best guess at what this slide deck should look like. So first, title of the deck, there's an introduction, there's an overview, and then there's a few different principles around Warren Buffett's investment philosophy, case studies, and that's the full slide deck. That looks pretty good to me. The only thing I want to change is case study. I want this to be about Coca-Cola. And then I'll get rid of one of these slides and then do a conclusion slide. And then I look at the outline, I say it's ready to go, and now I can say generate slides. This step typically takes a minute, but essentially what's happening is now that we have the outline written, Plus AI can go back and fill out the content for each slide. It'll choose different layouts and different formats for each slide to help make the whole presentation look good. Okay, looks like here is the presentation that we got. And what happened here is we have a 12 page slide deck about Warren Buffett's investment philosophy. And what it says here is make sure to use these slides as the starting point for customizing your presentation. So now I can go flip through the deck and see, hey, here are some of the different tips from Plus about how to actually improve this slide. This is a good idea. Maybe we can add an image of Warren Buffett and add a quote. That might be a nice way to make the slide more interesting. You can see that we have these tips on all the different slides. And if we went through and did all these things, that would probably make the uh, slide, the, the final presentation quite good. Okay, so now we have this slide deck and let's say we wanna make some edits to it. One of the things I noticed is that we go straight from introduction to Warren Buffett, to Buffett's investment philosophy. And someone that might not know a lot about this topic might not know that he invests through Berkshire Hathaway. So let's say I wanna add another slide about introduction to Berkshire Hathaway. And in here I say, introduce Berkshire Hathaway and how Warren Buffett uses it as his primary investment vehicle. I can pick the type of slide that I want. Uh, let's go with something like this with different rows and headers and then hit the generate slide button. And 
Now you'll see that we've introduced another slide in here about Berkshire Hathaway. And there's a bunch of content on this slide about Berkshire Hathaway, where it's headquartered, how it works, about Warren Buffett again, and then about the investment vehicle. Uh, looking at this slide, it's not exactly what I wanted. It looks like this content is a little bit long. So instead, what I might want to do is not edit it myself, but I can use plus to go and rewrite the slide. So I'm going to come here, hit the shorten button. It automatically puts in this prompt, rewrite this to make it more succinct. Sentences do not need to be complete. And I'll just say rewrite current slide. There we go. This text looks a lot better now. It fits in the boxes, looks good. So instead of this Warren Buffett section, let's say I wanted something like uh, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. I might do something like manually edit this part of the slide and then say, edit this section to include Charlie Munger and his relationship with Warren Buffett. And I can write, write just the selected text. Um, this content looks pretty good. It's a little bit long. It looks like this last sentence is actually repeating itself. So I'll just delete it uh, and hit the shorten button one more time. And there we go. Uh, without doing too much manual work, I got this slide that I wanted and it has all the content that I now need. Uh, let's say that this is actually not the exact format of the slide that I want. I can actually fix that with plus as well. So now I'll go to the remix option. Here I can look at all the different types of options of what types of slides that I want. Let's say I want this slide to be more of a uh, column based slide. So I'll turn it into uh, this colorful looking slide and click the remix button. Now this will transform so that instead of being um, a table with a title and text on the right, we'll actually have three columns and it'll be a different way that I can look at the same information. Instead of wasting time formatting and moving all these boxes around, I just had AI do this and it's super simple. Uh, all the things that are happening here are obviously in Google Slides, but the other cool tip is that I can also hit Control Z and it'll go and undo the changes. Uh, just another thing that makes it really nice about this tool working inside of Google Slides. The last thing I thought it would be cool to show here is the design tools within Plus. So if I click on the design tab, this actually allows me to go and create a set of colors, fonts, um, and logos that might be helpful for me to actually go and transform this presentation into a new theme. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look up a Berkshire Hathaway color scheme and copy that over into plus. Let's make this a little bit easier to read by putting an image behind it. Okay, so I'm going to pick a font that I like. Let's say uh, Noto Serif looks like it would be a nice title font and then uh, Spectral would be a nice one for the body. Um, for the background, I'm going to keep it white, but for the primary text color, I'm going to go use Espresso. Do a 2223. And then for the brand colors, I'm going to use Cabernet, Earth, Dove, and Pearl. 603. And last but not least, and there we go. This color scheme looks a lot more like it would actually come from Berkshire Hathaway. The final thing I will do is go find a logo. And it looks like we've actually been using the color scheme from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. So I'm just going to take that one. Save the image. Upload it again here. And then I will hit create theme. So 
So now that I have this theme created, I'm going to go back to this slide, ask it to remix. And this should apply the new theme to the slide. There we go, that looks a lot more uh, on brand for Berkshire Hathaway and my slide is now ready to go. Thanks for watching this quick walkthrough of Plus, the best AI presentation tool. If there's any other features or feedback that you have, please leave it in the comments and we'd love to hear from you.